hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ugo Eluche and today I'm going to be talking or telling you a story about how God healed my hands my fingers from bleeding seriously I don't think I I've said this story on my channel before I've not even given a hint about it because it's something that is so embarrassing and I'm really grateful for God because he really gave me the liberty to share okay so I don't know if I was born with this condition or it happened while I was growing up as a child but I remember there was a day I remember the day vividly but my problem is that I don't know whether this skin condition I had it prior to that time or I had it after that incident because that was the first time I took note of it there was one day I was in the room with my brothers we were playing this is when I was I would say I should have been like six seven I was playing with my brothers and all of a sudden my cousin said my older cousin said I should come downstairs to play or to eat I'm not sure and as we were going downstairs I remember somebody I was going behind somebody I was running and the person well, I say forgot that I was going behind them and the person smashed the door but I was trying to hold the door with my hands I was trying to like pull it in like so pull it out and you know it closed on my hand and as when I saw blood that was now when I now took note maybe that was the first time that I my brain clicked that oh wow your hands bleed I think because of the cracks that were already on my hands, my hands still bleeding. Now, what am I trying to say? Since I was a child, my fingers used to cut in, like, you know where your thumb prints and your fingerprints are? The lines used to cut open and break and bleed. And it was quite, it was so rare. I thought that this hand was, you know, maybe better but sometimes this hand will break and I remember, I remember one time when my mom was considering taking me to somewhere where I could learn how to use my left hand to write because this hand was basically I, I was I couldn't use it properly it was like water used to irritate my hand can you can you can you imagine water used to irritate my hand so you know I'll have to use like gloves to wash my hands it was too annoying as a child I did not like it it made me cry and I remember sometimes you know as children I don't I don't blame them but my brothers one time said oh my hands look like grand grand like a grandmother's hands and you know here even till today it kind of like looks so annoying me why because I wanted to do so much with my hand but I couldn't now I used to be a I am still I, I draw and I paint and I remember it was difficult writing in school sometimes because my hand would be cracking I especially during her matan season it would break so my mom used to put olive um no aloe vera on my hands raw aloe vera on my wounds oh god it will hurt me so much you know sometimes it will just be on my hand and I'll just, I'll just hold my hands out like this it was such an inconvenience to my to my childhood and there was something that I hated doing so when we when we had to travel go to the embassy when it was time for Tom Prince my parents were just gonna sit down because they know that this one will take a long time it will click it will say no Tom Prince is showing no top is showing they will press my hand down obviously because of the cracks it will pain me it was so tiring ah, and the point is that even if my fingerprints show in Nigeria when we go to wherever we are going to so let's say we go to the UK and we get to um, the airport in London I want and I want to do my thumb print they'll be like sorry please we have to get, we have to get passports inside it was so long and I did not look forward to going to the embassy. I did not look forward to going to the airport just because of that. It was so annoying. So, you know, this carried on from childhood. I, when I, when I was a child, my mommy was taking the burdens. When we used to like buy the aloe vera, it was her, I used to cry too. Do you understand? Like, she took the pain. But as I grew older, I now started taking the pain because I had to take care of myself. So, Things that has to do with water, I'll make sure that I did not play with water too much. I make sure that if I was washing plates, I tried to use my gloves. Even when I was taking, when I used to have my bath, you can imagine bathing like this. 
because it was a mess and when I now went to uni this thing kind of to uni I remember when I was in um I was in SS3 that is like year 11 um I had final mock egg no was it my mock exam or my YEC itself after doing the um, theory and objective we're supposed to do our practicals we're supposed to draw and as I was shading and doing my stuff I realized that my my finger started hurting me and I knew that it's, it's about to happen it, will, it was about to like you know maybe one of the wounds is now getting a bit like weak and it's about to break I went I drew for my fine arts it was so painful I was drawing but it was it was hurting me but I needed to like write my exams ah those days man so I remember coming into you now my mommy told me oh yeah I'll take cream or like you know when your cream I, I had I had like a lot of hand lotions and it wasn't even that pretty hand lotion you know hand lotion that smells nice no the hand lotion smelled like Ugh, just because you it was not just it was not just pretty hand lotion it was made it was medicine so i'll make sure that my hand lotion was not all this like fairy girly it was thick hand lotion body shop hand lotion you know ones that have proper treatment for dry skin so i i remember coming into uni when i when i went to a church i stayed going to church when they used to sing worship songs, I did not like to like lift up my hands in worship because I felt like somebody would look at my hand and be like, oh my god, how can this young girl have such ugly hands? How can this young girl have such um dry, crusty, old woman looking hands? I know somebody has asked me that question before when I was in secondary school. They were like, why are your hands so like old? I know children now, we don't we don't have filter in our mouth. Ah, it will break me. The thing will just break me, but I'll just hold it to myself. And I didn't want to share with my friends so that my friends don't know that. So that my friends do not pity me or do not be like, oh my god, your hand, you. So I didn't tell anybody. So going into uni now, I was just handling it by myself. Going to uni, going to, even to the UK where it was cold. So I was always oiling my hand with all my lotions, being careful. So I was managing it and there was now something that happened. I had to renew my passport when I was in school. And renew your passport means you have to go to the embassy. And go to the embassy means you're going to have to do fingerprints. And I was going with my brothers and my brothers were like, oh god. That is not the moment that I know here now. It's us that will face this challenge now. So what my family will do is that they will do their own first. Then they will now say, okay, go and do your own. And then we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Because even I remember one time, like, in the embassy, they were saying, ah, fingerprints are unable to show, please, oh, we don't know what's this. It was so bad. Like, normal fingerprints for human beings are goes, one, two, three, then circle, you know, just cute. Mine is chicka, 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 chicka. You see one kind of, like, woundish thing. I don't want to remember it. So I went to the embassy, my brothers. My brothers did their own first. Then it was now me. I finished everything, like the whole name, son name, date of bed. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah now, fingerprints. Already, you know you're already anticipating it. So I just said, God. I think this happened a month into salvation. So when I just recently started like building my relationship with Christ, that's when this happened. So I just took it I was like, God, we're, we're facing this battle again. Plus my hands are really hurting me right now. I don't want anybody to just press my hand on the screen and injure me the more. So I did it. The man said, fingerprints are unable to show. I said, okay, let's try again. I did it. Fingerprints unable to show. I said, okay, let's try again. I did it. Fingerprints unable to show. I just vexed. So I was like, what is this? Honestly, what is this? Hey, I was so angry. I was so livid. You know the way it was Nigerian embassy. You know the way these Nigerians can talk. Uh uh. Are you not a normal human being? What if I let me see your hand? So it's like, let me see your hand. Ah, I was so, I was so embarrassed. So I showed the man. He was like, hey that 
you have to go to the hospital. Let them give you a letter saying that your fingerprints cannot physically show on this machine. And then we'll make your visa like, or you sorry, we'll make your passport a special kind of passport. They even tried using this my thumb and like I said, this hand now started to, you know, become dry and crusty. Although it was, it didn't need to break as much as this one, but you know, there were some defects. The man said I have to go and get a medical report. And I'm like, God, I've been doing this thing before. Yes, it took a long while, but I didn't have to get a medical report. I'm a human being, I've got fingerprints. Ah, I was so angry. So I called my mom, my mom already knew. So my mom was telling us, ah, you know, safe journey on your, on your trip. When you're done, call me. I called her, she just, she just knew. She was like, they've not, they, they couldn't catch your fingerprints, have been? I said, yes. I was like, let's pray. We prayed. And when she, you know when, like, <laughs> I believed in my life. I said, God, I believe with my life. The same way you made the blind men see, the same way you stopped the woman from bleeding, the same way you made the lame to walk, do this one for me and do it in front of these people so that they know that you, I serve a God that does not fail. So I came back and I told the man, please, can I try again? The man was already agitated because he already gave me an instruction and I wasn't listening to him. So I told him, please, let's just try this one more time. And we, I put my fingerprints. Ha! Ah, guy pressed my hand there. Yeah. I can still feel the pain. Like, he was so angry. Plus, we wanted to get it done. My brother was just pitying me. He was looking at me like, Chai, sorry. He pressed my hand. And then, I just saw my fingerprints. I was like, thank you, Jesus! The mom was like, you see? It's me, it's me, you see? The way I pressed, I was just like, no, 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 no. This is God. We don't need the other ones like that. If I he didn't have to press the other ones, it just, is it happening, is it happening? I think that him pressing down my finger was like, God trying, I feel like it was God trying to test me, like, was she vexed? Was she vexed? Because I'm like, God, I've already prayed. This man is now pressing my hand again. But it make it, it should, others went. Ah, I went on Facebook and was like, God, he's no man that he should lie. God is a healer. God is a this. God is a that. God is a... But shame did not allow me to tell people what exactly God healed me from. And this is why I feel like I relate so much with the woman with the issue of blood. Because the woman, yes, she, she believed in God's power. She believed that she believed that if she touched the hem of Jesus' garment, she would be healed. But she wanted she wanted a subtle thing, something that she would just do and get away with it, and not and nobody would talk, like hear about it. But Jesus Christ said, somebody touched me, and He singled her out to speak about it. So I feel like I'm not the woman with issue of blood. I'm telling you guys this because I don't want to talk to people about about it. Like I. And it's fun because I do not have a picture of my hand when it was like that. I, I did not take pictures of my hand because it's my hand irritated me. So I don't, I do not think that if I ever spoke about this, I would have a picture of my hand. But I have pictures of my hand progressing, like it getting better. If I, if I indeed find them, if I have not deleted them, I'll put them in the video. But if I haven't, you know, I'll leave it to your imagination. So. I wrote that Facebook post and everything and I just told God that, ah oh God, I don't want this struggle ever again. Guys, I have not had that struggle th since 2013-14 and 2017. My hands have not bled. <laughs> My hands have not bled since 2000. And 14 yes I'm cautious like I wear gloves if you know if need be just so that 
especially when I'm not sure about the water where the source of the water in the area that I'm in like if I go to a new area I try to wash with gloves um, the kind of soap I use is not I don't use harsh soaps like detergents I try to stay from detergents and stuff like that however I have not bled on my hands yes you know dry skin I have I, you know I, I need to oil my hands but the way my hands used to bleed like I will not be able to hold my cup properly oh guys God is a healer I've not bled I've not bled I cannot remember the last time and I'm not exaggerating and I'm not lying I have not bled and it's funny because I sat down here and I wanted to talk about something else I just felt like I needed to talk about this story and tell you guys that God healed me completely of a skin condition and I have never giving him the glory for it until now which I feel bad about I feel really bad about it well except for that Facebook post that was trying to be very vague so that nobody asked me too many questions but I've never like you know because hmm because I know people always tell me oh Ugo, I'm struggling to believe that God can heal me and I'll be there keeping quiet be listening to them and I've never told them that God has actually healed me of a skin condition I think this is going to be a new thing that I need to learn how to share because God did not call the woman with the issue of blood out to shame her he called her out because number one he was he was was trying to bring boldness out of her courage and then he was even taking away shame he was taking away shame he was taking away shame and one thing that God is really dealing with me what I mean dealing I mean like he's working on me on is in the area of shame shame has cost me not to share certain things shame has cost me not to walk in certain callings that God has called me to walk in because I'm trying to I'm trying not to talk about some things that I've been through I'm trying I'm trying to I don't want people to be scared as to the kind of life that I have lived or the kind of things that have happened to me I don't want people to pity me but you know right now I'm not telling the story for pity I'm telling the story so that God will get the glory so yeah I'm sure some of my friends will be like whoa I have never heard of this story before but yeah God heals and God healed me so I hope you guys you know learned something I hope this spoke to you and watch out for my next video by the way let's give this video a thumbs up for location come on your girl is getting better consistency my dear why you don't have a job you gonna be consistent <laughs> okay so see you in my next video bye Mwah. the man you saved is here to worship you